Hello guys, how's it going? Matcha has and welcome back to some more God of War Ragnarok. So yes, apologies for no stream last night, because I fell asleep on the sofa. <laughs> oh, that's what work does to you. It ties you out. But we are back with part four. Uh, we are currently just started this side quest here. So let's dive into it, shall we? something over here ah a memory of war you could use this as a training arena if you like you'll just be fighting the recollections of enemies they won't be able to harm you cool yo lewis jogger training grim training You should at least get XP for that, surely. Do we have to be here? Creeping me out, all these poor bastards with their souls cut up. What do you think about fate? I don't. Either your life's all written down somewhere or it ain't. Still feels like you're making choices either way. The shit smells the same regardless of how it got shat. Remind me to write that down. Okay. Wait, are those Odin's ravens? The ones we've been destroying all this time? So it would seem. Dun dun dun. The kills eleven. I don't know, but there's definitely something more going on here. So it looks as though we need to kill all the ravens to get these particular. I suppose we should continue to destroy any of Odin's ravens when we find them. Hmm. Okay. So this is a side quest to be continued. <clears throat> you got some slag from the homeland, huh? Hand it over, I'll fix you up some. Okay. Increases the healing. Hmm. I don't think I've got enough. No. I told. Sounds weird, but can you tell me again what happens when someone dies? Every living thing has a soul, and every soul has four parts. Form, mind, direction, and luck. 
Direction steers the souls of giants, dwarves, elves, and animals toward the Lake of Souls in Alfheim, where all the parts may be absorbed back into Alfheim's great light. So hmm. that's where Fenrir is? The Lake of Souls? So long as his soul still has its direction, aye, it's well on its way. I'm on my way. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Blind. There you are. I knew you hadn't forgotten me. Of course not. Master Kratos, I would speak with you. Okay. Speak. If you are ever in need of my services and I am not present, I have installed these handy chimes for you to notify me. Simply throw your axe and strike the chimes and I will attend to your needs. Ooh. Would you care to take a practice throw? Here. Yes, please. Of course. We were just catching up in your absence. Of the squirrels I've conversed with, he's easily the most dapper. What up? A magnificent pro, Master Kratos. Truly a seasoned pro. Very well. You know how to reach me now. <sighs> what else is there? I have a question. Splendid! I delight in offering my tutelage to the Inquisitive. Over the ledge, by the gateway over there. I noticed these dragons. Dragons? Oh no, young man. Hey, oh, Kazim! Those are lean worms, the brood of Neithog. Neithog? That's the mother? Correct. She's also a vital piece of the Idrisilian circle of life, as it were. The I circle of life. Choose the roots from below to prevent overgrowth. A delicate balance. So they're friendly? Well, they're not nearly so affable as myself, but there's no reason to expect hostility so long as they're left in peace. <clears throat> Neithog is a stern matriarch, as protective of her offspring. Not too bad, not too bad. To teach them proper discipline. That sounds familiar. I can work though tomorrow and uh, Tuesday. Until we meet again. Until we meet again, squirrel friend. You nearly finished it already. Wow. No spoilers. <laughs> Perhaps as we travel, you can tell me the tale of your prior visit to the land of the elves. Sure, I can. How fun was the first time you ever roam traveled using your temple? Freya tried coming with us, but Odin cast a spell on her. She can't leave Midgard. That's terrible. So then we fought our way through an army of dark elves to get to the. I just finished him for the day. The elf war. Then, not by choice, we sought to fill our bifrost. Still no spoilers though. <laughs> the dark elves were covering it with their sticky hive stuff. When we freed it, light elves came back. We seem better now, Alfon. <laughs> Did they now? Oh, Alfheim. Alfheim. It's been so long. Not sure where the temple is from here, but that's where we'll find Groa Shrine. <laughs> you reach the top of the temple, okay. Finish this part. Cool. I think what I'll do for me is basically do parts of the story and if there's a side quest available I'll do the side quest and then continue. You know what I mean? Broken history. Aye, not exactly an easy fix for that. No laddie. I see the elves continue their war. Yeah, so much for things being better in Alpha. Oh, I want to get down there. How do you get down there? <laughs> well, stop yeah, spoiling stuff. Thimble 
winter hit Alfheim hard. Don't no. make me ban you. <laughs> Storms have plagued Alfheim's deserts long before Fimble winter. Living desert. Huh. Pretty big side quest. Slag deposits. Okay. <laughs> Here's something out there. Something big. That's what she it's said. In pain. I did. Very. Do you hear? Feels like some kind of animal. Crazy. How could anything live in a storm like that? Plenty of caves under the desert. Explosives, eh? A paragon of comfort, but the dark elves get on best they can. In one. Well, I will be playing with that set. The from above you fucking told you told you <clears throat> what the hell? there the temple of light grow shrine is at the top Why, right, thank you. Is everything okay? Hi, old friend. Just looting on your chests. We'll be right along. My dad likes loot. Ah, very well. Apple. We like to hold stuff. I'm here now, boy. Freyr never bothered returning to Alfheim, did he, Mimir? Aye, no. I assumed the fate of his own realm took precedence. Wait, Freya's brother? Yes. Cut from a different cloth, that one. Hmm. <gasps> Hi Forty-eight ravens we have to kill. Okay, okay, okay. There's a barricade up ahead. What are those shiny rocks? Twilight stone. A rare material that can take millennia to form. Majestic, isn't it? Occasionally, the light of Alfheim will bind to a rock and crystallize, growing like moss on a fallen tree. Truly a wonder of the Nine Realms. They will reflect off a throw. Cool. Oh, I didn't know it could do that. Oh, very clever. Okay, good. Little shits again. What's the exploding one? 
Spider-Man Easter egg. It's all in what you bring to it. Yeah, it's not been too bad. Not been too bad. Just been chilling today, really, listening to some tunes. Ha! <laughs> A leader. <laughs> oh dear. Travelled to Alfheim, where he discovered a once beautiful land devastated by war. Using his divine power, he was one of our MPs in the government. Uh, basically, he's not anymore. You'll just have to Google him, and I'm sure you'll uh, catch up pretty quick. <laughs> Mention how that piece fell apart as soon as he left. I was getting to it. You hear that? Oh no. That's enough, please. You don't need to do this. We don't really? want to hurt you. We do not have a choice. Fuck me. Why are you fighting us? We helped you last time. Atreus, focus. Focus, boy. I hate Alpha. Oh. So your father said. I'm just naive, I suppose. No. Just an optimist, old friend. Yep. Kiss, kiss. Oh, yes. Tribute to Freya, made by the elves. He must have left it here when he raced back to Vanaheim. What is this? A charm to ward off nightmares. In this case, Freya's. 
Well, knowing the elves, there are probably more tributes to find. Best we move on for now, brother. Don't think we have the right tools for this one. Why not? Hmm. What now? It's so tall. We came in from the top last time. Didn't realize all this was even down here. It's an older gate, built to promote cooperation between the elves. Hmm. But it looks like it's been sealed for some time. How do we enter? Grab that wheel and I'll show you. <laughs> Don't know what's to do with that, those lead chests. It's to do with these things here. But God knows. I got me iron blue! I have. I'm just having me cup of tea. Um. I'll go first. Okay. Petraeus, let me know when I've reached halfway. So, uh, what's happening right now? This seal is meant to represent the balance of the realm when Freya was here. Light and dark working together in harmony. How's that look, Atreus? Good, I think. Father, now you go. Unfortunately for Alfheim, Freyr couldn't accept his sister's decision. Yeah, tomorrow and Tuesday. He returned to um, I buy the big bottles. To, its fate. to be fair, the Aesir did set him on fire that one time. Hmm. The door should have opened. Are you sure it's balanced? Yeah, but the realm isn't. Not anymore. Father, mm. try pulling it the other way. Yeah, yeah, it's here. You keep pushing forward. Big bottles, big bottles like that. <clears throat> yeah, that's... Oh, it's been a while since we came here, isn't it? What's this dark elf statue doing in the light temple? That's just how they looked before the division. Ooh, the division. Pretty. Yes. Pretty colors. Always split between light and dark, you know. This statue depicts the elves before the war, before they discovered the power of the light. Uh, find about two quid. The pity. Solid light. Guess some things don't change. Yes. The stone briefly imparts a bit of light to your axe. That's useful. How oh, is it tomorrow? Well, I hope it uh, goes planned. What's that sound? No sense in spoiling the surprise. Indeed. Supplies, boy. The light. Oh. I've never seen the Lake of Souls so volatile. Aye. Fimple winter, you reckon? Of course. Making the light unstable. So the base of this light well, that's the Lake of Souls. Yes. After the creation of the Nine Realms, fallen souls began to gather down in those waters. When the elves discovered its potential, they built this temple to harness that energy. A smashing success, to say the least. Many of them became addicted to their newfound power, <coughs> and thus, the Light Elves were born. Hmm. Best be careful with them flashes. Hmm. 
Rawhide. to see them. Ah, oh, that's cool. Right. Well done. Thanks. Never please anyone these days. Speaking of light elves, Hello. let me try talking to them again. They Best may. just to let these two do their thing, brother. <laughs> They came across on light bridges. And now the bridges are gone. I have oh. an idea to get us across. As Gimli would say, toss me. me friends. <clears throat> okay, excuse me. Lucky for us, swearing off violence doesn't mean he can't disfigure some architecture. This way. Shrine awaits. Cool. Go beat the blades. Kratos, where are you going? He's just looking around. He does this sometimes. Oh, curious mind. Carry on. Curious and curious. I'm sorry. looks so different than I remember. It was all broken and covered in hive stuff last time we were here. These elves use alpine light to enhance the temple. And themselves by the look of it. They definitely look more dangerous than last time. Oh, those were just the foot soldiers. They'll get more dangerous the further up we go. Great. Hey, grand. The shrine is this way, Kratos. I know. Yeah, he knows. I see. By all means, Where's this lead? Hit the fucking grow. Ah.
Thank you. Okay, made it. Ding, ding, ding. Huh. Glad we explored. You may. I'm sure we talked about that the other day. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Shall we continue? Yes. So if these elves use the light to build doors and make themselves stronger, what do the dark elves want with it? To return it back to its source. To them, the natural resources of Alfheim are sacred, none more so than the light itself. Aye, the light elf's success came at a terrible price. Alfheim's once lively desert withered into a storm-ridden wasteland soon after the creation of this temple. Ah, uh, okay. There's more Twilight Stone up there. Where? You're building quite the collection of poetry, brother. Why so surprised? Why people are known for their culture? Not Couldn't surprised. tell what that one was. Esteem. Gotta be a better angle on that fire. More light elves ahead. I'll handle this. Uh, maybe that's not a great idea. Give him a chance, he might be an actual badass man. Or maybe not. Oh there, friends. Salutations. We mean you no harm. Here. Uh, get back. Um, I would, um, 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 say to her, take me now.
I get it now. Why they keep fighting? Dark elves want the souls and the light left alone, but the light elves want to keep using them. That's the long and short of it. Aye. So and I'd gladly let right? her as well. Barely is it so simple. And not our place to say. This is an elven conflict. I said as much the last time we were in Alfheim. Right. <laughs> Blue, blue. They sure made a lot of these light doors. Mm. Fortifications. Aye, none too eager to let the dark elves run the roost again. Of course not. That looks interesting. I don't think that's the way up to the shrine. We know. There's a chest over here. Oh, I see it now. Oh, tricky. There's gotta be a way to get your axe behind this break, right? I don't mean to speak out of turn, but the white marble wall behind that grate. Perhaps your axe can reach it. Burn it here. Oh. It works. Thanks, dear. My pleasure. <clears throat> I'd be explored. Back to it then. Back to it, laddie. Yeah, boy. Ow, don't fart in my face. Vasia's poems, brother. Why would I choose? Sounds like a horizon is right there. Shit. 
huge indeed. I suppose I'll leave you to it. Yes. How? Uh, you. Blind. I'll meet you on the other side. Whoa, Tyr can really jump. Oh, excuse me. Nice. This mystic doesn't see us. There's twilight down on the ground. Yes. Getting the hang of it. I've never seen the light elves with so much control over the temple. Yes, that's on us. They must have anointed a new temple guardian. Spartal Yoffer's counterpart. The Dark Elf King. Yes, he's in the light now too. I'm going to need to be quick with this one then. Go! 
Dog wants to go out now. Two ticks. Here they come. Do what you must. Come away. If this statue were to fall over the chasm, let's find out. Oh, oops, crystals still make light bridges. Now the light elves wear them. Smart. Almost there. Allow me. I dare say he's beginning to enjoy the vandalism. Pretty soon he'll be laying waste to pottery. <laughs> we continue. Okay. Oh. 
supposed to do, but anywho. Well, at least we're getting closer. Look up. See? It feels even taller on the inside. I can't believe all this was down here. Uh... Oh. It won't. Bing bong bing bong bong bing bong bing bong bing Need to find the other one, yeah. Zara, the Zara. Really? Nor do I wish to try. Hello. Seeing it again. And here we go again. Behind! 
No way to see. You appreciate stopping by as always. Oh, you little bastard. Another light door. There's some twilight stone on that statue shield. But that angle isn't gonna work. Do you think there's any way to stop the elves from fighting each other? Had Freyr not abandoned the realm, a lasting peace may have fallen. Now. Can we really place all the blame on Freyr? This war started long before his arrival. But he had the power to heal this land and end the war, did he not? He made his choice. The wrong one. Well, I'll find perhaps, but not necessarily for him. Well, I suppose we're all entitled to walk our own path, regardless of where they end. <laughs> Does it? Tear, the last time we were here, we killed the Dark Elf King. That's unfortunate. I'd wondered what became of Svartigoffer. We had to defend ourselves, but when he died, he told us we helped the wrong side. I see. Find 
job, brother. This Thank you. something wounded out there, Atreus. I think so. It could just be the storm. Perhaps we can investigate once we've uncovered a mysterious seer's hidden prophecy. <laughs> We're getting noticed stood though. <laughs> he held in his arms. Dun, dun. Don't go into the light. There, the central chamber will bring us to the top. Once we find our way past yet another light door. Sick of these light doors. Man, it's facing the wrong way, boy. Hmm. Maybe if we allow me to speed this up. Okay. Oh, well, yeah, thank you. Should work, Kratos. Okay. Well done. At your service. <laughs> Easy. Easy now. Mother inside last time, but I can't anymore. Wait for it. One with the light now, united by forces older than Odin himself. She is at peace, Atreus. I hope so. When Father went inside the Ooh. light, he said you he went inside the light of Alfheim. Yes. And yet here you stand, of sound mind and decidedly not incinerated. <coughs> you must tell me, Kratos, what did you see? That memory is for me alone. Yeah, I did see a chest, but I don't know if we could get to it or not. Didn't feel like moments to me. I was trapped. Atreus overcame great odds to save me. One could but only imagine. Well then, Groa's triptych awaits. So, did you ever meet Groa? Many times. But she was plagued by constant visions, so... Conversation was... Difficult, to say the least. Oh. The missus singing there. But which missus? She's 
He's got on, he's getting on a bit, isn't he? Those wrinkles on his face there and everything. <clears throat> Almost there. Huh. They've changed some stuff. Last time, there was all this hive stuff up here. So many Dark Elves. I... All this time, I thought the Dark Elf King... I thought all the Dark Elves were... Tear? Yes? Did we help the wrong side? Hmm. Are you certain that's the right question? I... What's the right question? Is there a right side? Exactly. What do you think, Atreus? Is there a right side in this war? I... I don't know. Then perhaps you shouldn't pick one. Indeed. Indeed, indeed. Yeah, the chest. I don't. I didn't. I don't think we could have reached it. I did have a look, but. <clears throat> Imagine trying to get some sleep when your door is made of light. Yeah, true. <laughs> true, true. Love. Damn, I remember this area. I do remember this particular section. Oh. Hammer, hammer, hammer. Yo. Do you believe in fate, Sindri? Oh, of course not. Do you think I'd wash my hands this much if I thought that what I do doesn't ultimately matter? <laughs> There's only one thing with any say over how we live our lives, and that's us. Hey, Sindri, wasn't your forge on the other side of the shrine last time? My, someone's got an eye for detail. Perhaps the Light Elves felt it looked better on this side. <laughs> they do have a thing for aesthetics. Honestly, I'm as puzzled as you are. But it's best not to look a gift forge in the two-year. Very messy. Anyway, good luck! <clears throat> sell, sell, sell. Did you, um, disinfect these? It's fine. I'll do it. Yeah. What about your son? Why not?
What'll it be? Bye -bye. I think I see something. The giants always did enjoy hiding their secrets in plain sight. Wait Ooh, until another you see story. That. How the fuck did you do that, boy? Hey, I'm the one that calls him boy. Yes. We have Groa's search for her missing husband. She was relentless in her attempt to find him. Meditated for weeks on end. <clears throat> Unfortunately, she found something else. A vision of Ragnarok. Word of Groa's vision reached Odin. He sought her out, demanded a private retelling. Didn't like what he had, apparently. Mm. Ironwood? That's the. I don't know what that is. The mythical sanctuary. Oh, you almost let it slip then. So it's in Jodenhan? I know some giants thought so, but Ironwood isn't anywhere, lad. It's a concept, a metaphorical paradise. It's not real. Presumably, Groa requested her ashes be returned to Jodenheim, while her soul found peace in the light. Difficult to imagine Odin respecting those wishes. Hmm. The champion? I think it's supposed to be. Me. You assume too much. Aye. Best not to read into these abstractions so literally. Prophecies are slippery by nature. Although some are more obvious than others. Ragnarok. Aye. The end of everything. So this is it. There's nothing we can do to stop it. There must be a way. Why else is this hidden? Look. Tear. This is what we saw. It's you. Fighting in Ragnarok. No. I don't. I can't. What's this then? That's new. Asgard is destroyed? The other realms thrive? And Odin dies. Hmm. She lied. Roa lied. Of course she did. <laughs> Odin's working off a false prophecy. <laughs> so then we can win Ragnarok. We can beat Odin. We are not present in any of this. But that was Tyr leading the charge against Asgard. Plus, Hell's army was there. And the elves. Champion. Okay. Whatever that is, doesn't matter. But for the first time, we know something Odin doesn't. We just saw we can win. Tyr? I won't allow prophecy to define my choices. But we just saw No, him. Atreus. This is wrong. Come. There is much to discuss.
Looks like they've been talking whilst we were playing as Atreus. We can't stop Ragnarok, but we can win it. If Asgard is destroyed, Odin will not be the only casualty. There must be another way. So, what'd you see? A lot. Roa lied to Odin. Ragnarok isn't the end of everything. It's just the end of Asgard. Just the destruction of an entire realm, is it? To say nothing of its citizenry, its wildlife, those ignorant and innocent of Odin's misdeeds. Enough. There is much to discuss once we are safe at home. Okay. Perhaps we should focus on our egress first. Agreed. <laughs> You missed. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Tia joining in a bit there. Hello. Wee. Um. Yeah, I was like not. Oh. To keep moving. He's really worked up. Think he's okay? Focus, Atreus. This way.
Oh shit. Over. It is far from over. I... It's gonna be okay, Tyr. You've seen what is to come. I told you I would not follow you to war, and yet here I am, dragging an innocent, innocent? elf and marching towards the destruction of Asgard. What choice do we have? There is always a choice. <laughs> I will not lead you to war. I won't. I'm not that god anymore. I don't want to fight, but with you three, there is no avoiding it. <laughs> Your path leads to countless deaths, unimaginable pain and suffering. What the fuck are you doing? Hold on! Over here! You're chased! Apologize. <laughs> hey, dear. Thanks. And I'm sorry about before. I. No. 
I am sorry. Hmm. I should never have come. We shouldn't linger. Indeed, but we'll see how this story pans out, I suppose. Considering this is the last one of this particular mythology. want to do the right thing and according to prophecy speak no more of prophecy war will not give you the purpose you seek atreus only slaughter so what are we supposed to do roll over do nothing enough we will discuss our next move when we are out of danger <laughs> Ooh, I like that. Ah! Uh. 
pew pew whoa fuck. Keep pushing forward. Giant. <laughs> Here, we open the gateway, please. That's where we came in, wasn't it? Bear with me. Yeah. the legacy this one has left for the barons. I've had far more than I can stomach. We do not need to rush. We should see this desert for ourselves. Look, I know we can't trust prophecy, but I'm not sure we should just ignore what we saw either. We are not ignoring it. We will discuss it back home. For now. I wish to search for the wounded animal you heard earlier. You? Really? Yes. Well, okay then. Good. Okay. Uh, yeah. Lead the way. We should be able to reach the barons up yeah. top once we find a way past this hive matter. I remember yeah. these things. Definitely dark yeah. territory. Ah, right, okay, okay. Gotta hit them all at once, remember? I remember now, boy. Uh, this way. Brother, you ever think of cooking meat with those blades of yours? No. Oh, because of the magic on them? The blood. Ah, yes. Ah, shit. Carry on then. <laughs> The Leven Tree. Yeah, the Leven Tree. Hey, the Tree. Hail, fellow travelers. Atreus heard a creature in pain in the desert. Over a storm like this? Most impressive. You know Alfon pretty well, right? Do you have any idea what's out there? No, sorry. The elves and I... Long story, but it's best when we keep out of each other's way. Hive matter is stickier than I care for. Good luck on your search, though. Stuff some cloth in your ears to keep the sand out. <laughs> don't knock it till you've tried it. Would have been a shame to have left that behind. I'm here for you. 
This axe just keeps getting stronger. What can I make for you? Now, where'd you find this? I ain't telling you that. What do you need? More to talk about? Surprised to see you out here, Sindri. You must hate the sand. Oh, it is the worst. But with Brock banned from Alfheim, it's up to me to keep you ship shape and sharp. <laughs> so why is Brock banned from Alfheim? Oh, that's um I don't know if well do you know what a juicy nokin is? No. Well, thanks to Brock, the elves sure do. <laughs> uh what is a juicy... No. <laughs> you don't want to know, boy. Ooh. What are these animals? Gulon, native to Vanaheim. Not sure what they're doing here. Woohoo! Someone trained them to pull a sled. <clears throat> Lucky for us. Domesticated ghoul. Most unusual. La da 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 So much sand. I don't think we're getting through that gate in this storm. Not yet, anyway. Whatever's inside is kicking up quite a bit of sand. How do we reach it? There's caves and tunnels are plenty out here. Let's find one and see where it takes us.
There's too much sand in the way, brother. Can't read it. Well, dig. Oh, I gotta remember to ask Tyr about his travels to the lands beyond the seas. You wish to travel the world? I don't know. Maybe. See new places, find out more about myself. Mm. <sighs> oh, I'll say that, man. Mm. <gasps> yeah, I'm just exploring. I'm not sure I quite understand. In the Ragnarok prophecy Odin in <laughs> all the realms get destroyed, including Asgard. In the version Groa kept secret, Asgard still falls. Wouldn't Odin have tried to prevent it either way? What difference did her life really make? Enough. We will continue later. <gasps> A tempting treasure chest! Damn the sand! Desert. Is the creature within? Yeah, sounds like it. We'll find it if we keep going. 
What is this place? A refuge for the Dark Elves, by the looks of it. One of the few remaining now that they're barred from the temple. Great. Well, Blah! Considering what happened the last time we were in Alfarm, can you really blame them? Patience. A virtue or a threat? Depends on the reader. <laughs> the creature you heard. What does it say now? It's not always like that. Some animals are just... I feel what they're feeling, you know? And whatever this thing is, it's in a lot of pain. I see. Why do you ask? I am curious. Really? I am capable of curiosity. Okay. <laughs>
I'm just trying to figure out why you'd help some random enemy. Is this not what you want? No, no, it, it is. I'm just surprised it's what you want, too. Appel Excuse me. to abandon it but if we have to kill a bunch of dark elves to get there i remember a young lad who until this very moment would take on an army of draugr to save a wounded animal but these aren't undead draugr they're elves i just want to make sure we're not repeating the same mistakes getting involved where we shouldn't
Ah, vale, vale. Ahí vale. lo There. That bomb should help us out. It's just... Thank you. Why does it feel like no matter what we do in Alphard, we wind up hurting Dark Ages? We are down here to help the creature you heard. I know that, but I'm usually the one who drags us around trying to rescue animals. Why do you care so much? Is there something you're not telling me? No. <laughs> okay.
Yeah, boy! Ah, yeah, boy! Thank you. Thank you, boy. Oh, it's that huge jellyfish thing in the jig, in the trailer. What is it? Hey, get you ghost. That's the largest bloody half your man ever laid eyes on. It's not just in pain, it's trying to sing. It's the song of the sands. You don't normally sing like this underground. Is that what's causing the storm? Aye. Judging by all this hive matter weighing it down, it's been trapped here for dozens of winters. Don't worry, Luke. Get you out. What is that name? Well, the last good thing you said. I am blue. So... Oh boy. Well, I appreciate the attempt at humor. That little brother is truly awful workplay. Mm -hmm. Embarrassing, really. Oh, well, can't all be winners. Such a pretty jellyfish. Those rocks. Get a better angle. I am blue. That's why we just come in, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. 
Ah, ah, ah. That's it. I see something. I see rock thing there. Ah, I see. Yay! Looks like it can move now, but it still can't get out. It can move. gone. We can free it from the surface now. Let's kill it. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Why did they trap it down here? Hafkifers are known to burrow. So I hesitate to place full blame on our Dark Elf friends. Excuse me. But it's trapped in their hive stuff. Hive matter doesn't belong to the Dark Elves. Any more than the light belongs to the Light Elves. <coughs> it's just a matter of Alfheim's natural resources. One the Elves have used since the time of their ancestors. And while the Light Elves seem keen to banish the Hive over on their side, the Dark Elves make effective use of it out here in the Barrens. So, by cleaning out all of this Hive... Are we hurting Dark Elves? <laughs> Enslaved. 
now. Then let us free it. Ow. My noggin. Whispering slab. That's a minute objective, isn't it? Goofaloos here. I got the goofaloos. some goodwill from our dark elf friends after all look father thanks for bringing us out here little pretty this was not a distraction no then why are we really out here have you ever considered he just wants to spend time with you lad mm. he still can really we do not know what lies ahead but if ragnarok approaches I wish to enjoy the time we have left. Oh, Kratos, you're gonna make me fell up. I don't know what to say. Thank you for bringing us <laughs> out here. Kratos. I'm glad we did this. As am I. I had no idea. But still. So heartfelt. Though she is good, I have no idea what the fuck that's supposed to be. The fuck was that? This really jellyfish. Charge! Yeah. Forward rather than backward. We already tried. There were issues with. We already tried. Oh, there was a brief bit where I thought I might get used to it. He did not. Ooh, there's a raven up there. Let's kill it. 
So let's get these chests first. A call. Sit the fuck down. Ew. Ah, right, it's written clock. No, Astro. <laughs> I have a favorite poem already. One from my homeland. Care to share? Father, what's the biggest thing you've ever fought? I do not know. Well, remember? why do you ask? Um, so we can compare. What was it? What was it called? It a competition. Was it called Kronos? Mm, not yet. <laughs> God of War Three. Uh, did we go over there? Oh yeah, we were starting, weren't we? Then we saw the raven. Atreus, I've been considering your question about whether Groa's deception made a difference. I think of it this way. When it comes to subverting prophecy, knowledge is power. Without the full picture and context, the finer details can lead you to tragically incorrect interpretations. Hold. We will finish later. Hello. Goodbye. Oh! 
No, fucking try. Shit the fuck down. What's that? A diagram for a sword hilt. Perhaps we should show it to one of the dwarves. They'll know what to do with it. <laughs> Oh, I do like that blue. But that's all it has. I'm so angry. Yeah, there was. Yeah, it's over here, isn't it? The gong, 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 gong. On top top. Oh yes. Thank you. Ta -da. All that loot and they get a horn. Sledies. Come on, brother. Let's have it. You mentioned you had a favorite poem from your homeland. Yeah. What was it about? A cunning general. A war over forbidden love. I believe I've heard of this one. Did it involve a horse that was not as it appeared? Yes. But that is not what happened. Oh, it's based on truth then. And you were there. Yes. <coughs> I prefer the poem. how manipulating the details of a prophecy can wreak havoc on the believers. Back in my homeland, I was privy to the operations of a certain coven of heath witches. It's been a man. Not destabilizing the government. They picked an influential thane, an otherwise loyal man, and fed him a story of his own ascension to king. They dressed it up in enough details they knew would come to pass, so when they did, the thane took it as consolation. Next thing you know, he's helping matters along. He murders his king, sleeping under his own roof. Wait, let us look this way. Seems like a lot of the sand is cleared up. But there's another storm out that way. I think that means... Another half, Gufa. Another one? Yeah, I don't think we can do anything with that yet. Why not? <clears throat> Excuse me. Back to my story. A thane of my homeland 
Manipulated by prophecy, welcomes his king as a guest and murders him in his sleep. Murder. Stay alert. Oh, it's been in there. No. Back to my story. A scene of my home life. Manipulated by prophecy. Welcomes his king as a guest and murders him in his sleep. Murders many he once called friends, too, thinking them fated to oppose him. Then, for a finishing touch, the witches revisit this usurper. With just a few details structured ever so misleadingly, they convinced the fool he was invulnerable to all threats. Physical, Physical or magical. Or magical. Uh, aye, aye, but was not so for him. All turned into a rather magnificent bloodbath as they go. The Thane ends up without his head and a name so cursed, none dare speak it. All thanks to a subtly deceptive prophecy. You really gotta write these stories down one day, Mimir. Well, I try. Jaw tends to get sore, but thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Get someone to write it for you. Oh, yeah. Mimir, you were talking about how Fenrir's soul is headed for the light of Alpha. It, that's because he was a wolf, right? Aye. Were he a god or a human who died in battle, a Valkyrie would have taken him to Valhalla or Folkvonger. Had he been a human or god who died outside of battle, he'd be cast down to Helheim. But Fenrir was a wolf, so his soul will join all the others in Alfheim. Mothers, yes, like your mothers, like your mother's laddie. That's where we went in for the first one. Where? Do we get to that one? In there, you said souls come in four parts. Does that mean you can lose some of your soul, but not all of it? Aye. Form, mind, direction, and life. Lose any one of them, and the entire being suffers. Still. Sometimes luck alone is enough. Just ask your father. My success does not come from luck. Ah, for the pain of the eternally lucky. <laughs> Did we go down there? I can't fucking remember. Double check. Ah, <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. 
Sorry. Thought someone grabbing me then. Is it? Yeah, on my jawline. See? It's growing. <laughs> That's not just dumb. It's not dirt. Oh. Father, can we build a lyre together? The instrument. Why? We hunt, we train. Those are the only two things you do to distract yourself. They are not distractions. Mm -hmm. Of course not. I just thought it'd be nice to learn some music. You could teach me, and... No. It's stupid. Never mind. Dun 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 dun. Right Sort of a harp. I can play beautifully, you know. I do not. I would prefer it remain that way. Ah. Oh, no. We shall have the talk. Right. There's the shield holding up black. It's good. I always knew Sindri was a great blacksmith with this magical shield. It just feels natural. The shield is well made. But it is you who wields it with skill. Girls. Thanks. Oh. 
Fuck off. Whatever. Reminds me of tales of a cruel empress. One too angry to die. We will see. Brother, I had a thought. What if we took a stealthy approach to our next battle? No. Um, is that it? I wonder if we can go back in there and see if we can get that chest. How can I help? And in pristine condition, too. that off your hands and wash it <laughs> I'll disinfect my tools oh really something in mind
might be my best piece yet today. Very good. Gonna keep it spatter-free this time, right? Kratos? I'll heat up the forge. Take care of your armor, and it'll take care of you. I need new socks. What has happened? They're wet. They will dry. You know, I just knew you were going to say that. Then why did you ask? I'm really not sure. <laughs> they will dry. Yeah, I'm sure they will. The word. What the fuck? Well, I don't think we can uh, go back. Brother, in my travels, I heard of a great battle in your homeland at a place called the Gates of Fire. The Hard Gates. You are there? No. Is that regret in your voice? I did regret not dying there for many years. But no longer. Hmm. 
was a bit of work to get that, but anyway. Oh, hang on, this way. Of habit, I suppose, since I don't sleep anymore. Although, it's far more confounding that I'm the tired one. I've seen you stay awake for days at a time without so much as a drooping eyelid. Not <laughs> even a nap. Gods do not nap. Oh, tell that to Thor. True, 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 true. Right, I just need to find where that chest was now. There's gotta be a way to get to it. We open that. No, we open that one. It was near where we used the elevator to go up, wasn't it? I'm sure it was. Yeah. 
Yes, boy. Why didn't I do that the first time? to a fucking chest. <laughs> Been down there, don't we? Yeah. Hard is hardy, hardy car. Thank you very much. Limitless. Limitless sport. Power? Aggression? <sighs> A bit vague, you know. Oh, was that it? Is that it? No fucking it. So I've got to track all the way back now. <laughs> I 
Are you taking the piece? Can I just drop down there? Wah! Any kind of fucking teleport. <clears throat> Damn, I've been knackered after all this running. I can't even run five minutes. <laughs> Right, a bit with the giant squid, we did all that now, haven't we? So there's no need to go back. For now, anyway. Until we get that other ability thing. I think.
So I'll go and get a chest, what's on here? He said thank you. <laughs> like the father of all, we swung from the tree. Wisdom gained father, servitude gained. Swung from the tree. What do you suppose that In means? My Jetta. Free their spirits somehow. Mm. Know, <laughs> well, free of Odin's control anyway. Let's do it. Yeah, I'll take your crap. <laughs> sure, I'm open. I had something to do. What? You just came to stare? Yeah? Let's make something then. And the kid? What are you looking for? Oh, so I'm just some clod hopper? Yeah. Had enough time to uh, find its equilibrium or whatever. Indeed, I saw flashes of the old god of war in them, but they were fleeting. There is nothing wrong with opposing war, nor opposing prophecy. I suppose that's fair. Never can be quite sure what the giants meant by any of it. Am I the only one that remembers they predicted our entire journey to Jotunheim? If the giants saw tier leading armies at Ragnarok, then I believe them. The question is, how you'll ever make Tyr believe it? <laughs> so, this whole spectral squirrel business. You can shoot out your feelings into little ghosties. I suppose that is a slightly inelegant way of putting it. These spectral versions of myself are aspects of my personality that I often find distracting at best. My ability not only lets me cast them away and provide some temporary peace of mind, it also allows me to see what goes on outside the tree. Why not just go look yourself? As the eternal caretaker of the tree, I may not leave its confines, 
all part of the deal, but worth it for the immortality and such. My spectral forms still allow me to see the outside world, albeit through slightly colorful viewpoints. That's one word for it. That bitter form of yours is a nasty piece of work. I'm standing right here, you know, that freak. <sighs> I'd apologize for him, but where would it end? Mm. Well, I mustn't keep you further from your goings on. <laughs> Away with you already! Glad to see you back, young one. Come help me, won't you? Oh, sure. We can eat whenever you like. The stew will only improve with time. Glad you're in a better mood. Yes. I was a little overwhelmed before. Forgive me. It's funny. Nothing seems to settle my mind quite like cooking. Being locked up for so long. I like cooking. How much joy lives in the little things. I like cooking. You're disappointed in me. I never said that. You're kind that way. But your eyes say everything. I haven't given up hope on you. Oh. You really must. This vision of me in your mind, where I'm as good as Odin is evil, the truth is always more complicated. To imagine it simple is dangerous. So you're really not going to help us? You'll have my wise and faithful counsel always. I wish I could do more. I really do. But for now, please, allow me to cook for you. Hello? No? Yeah? Yeah? Enjoy. Enjoy, my friends. Yeah. We'll see about that. Mm -hmm. Here you are. A meal fit for a champion. Enough. I said we would speak no more of that. Yes, of course. Didn't mean to offend. Okay. Uh, I'm not offended. It's just a word. A word that clouds your judgment. So, you really don't think it means anything? After the journey Mom sent us on? Everything we saw in Jodenheim? What was it all for? Don't you ever think about that? Every day. But I cannot believe her purpose was to inspire you to take foolish risks. But what if the giants are counting on me? What giants? I am counting on you. To be safe. To be smart. But Use the judgment of a man and not of a child. But what if Loki going to Ironwood is the only way that... You... Oh, Atreus. My son. Now we're gonna bug her off again. We really should eat. Some people swear by it on almost a daily basis. <laughs> I just don't understand. Why is there all this stuff about Loki and, and the champion and Ironwood if none of it's real? He's just so.
Mind if I give you the best advice you've heard all day, and possibly ever? Sleep. That's when all the troubles of your mind work themselves out. Sure. Fine. Sleep? Sounds great. I mean it. I do too. Get out of here, Ivy. You got a snake out again, innit? Yeah, we found that, didn't we? Six hours later. I wouldn't have felt so bad about killing so many elves. Put the alligator in his voice. Nah. Is that a mask? I mean, just knowing what gods makes me feel so much stronger. Where am I? It's all you ever talk about, over and over. Do something about it or shut up or it. Little people's. Little We're problems. sick of hearing about little people's little problems. Memories. And not nice ones. You broke the gate! That was our only way to Yonahan! What do you oh, want? The sun, man. Let's go! Ruma! I don't understand! Whatever. 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 Hey! Don't run off! Whatever. Can you tell me whatever, where I whatever, am? Whatever, 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 whatever. Will you stop? Whatever. I gotta get out of here. He should pay for what he said about mother. Oh. But we're God. We oh. can do whatever this. we want. Please, please wait. Please. Oh. Much better knife than mothers. Please stop. Nipple. Oh, 
Follow me, boy. Hey, where are you going? <clears throat> Follow you? Okay. Guess I'll see you around the other side. No worries, Lewis. Understand, pal. I'll probably just finish this little bit off and I'll end the stream anyway. So I've got to be up for work in the morning. <laughs> Can you understand me? Oh, hi there. So, where are we going? Got it. I was having the weirdest dream and just kind of woke up here. Is this Ironwood? Any idea how I got here? I dreamt my way here. I mean, suppose I must have. I'm here. Scent? What scent? Oh, that might be Fenrir you're smelling. Wish you were here to meet you. <laughs> There's a lot of you, huh? When we get to our destination, we're gonna eat you up, boy. What's that smell? The air here, it's... I don't know. Sweeter? Maybe it's these trees. <laughs> you tell me if you were going to eat me. <laughs> That's a joke, right? <laughs> I've never seen a horse like this before. I'm not finished with it oh. yet. Ah! Oh, hello, you. The pain is made from the bark of the ironwood trees. They absorb the memories of the forest so that the paint remembers too. Memories of the past. Of the future. I'd hate to get blood on it. Oh, it's really you. Uh, you know who I am? What's wrong? I've been. Waiting my whole life for this moment. Huh. You look weirder than I imagined. <laughs> oh. Thanks. Sorry. Um, was that mean? Kind of. <laughs> I'm already messing this up. <laughs> it's just you're the first person that I've talked to in a very long time. And weird can be good. Uh, thanks.
Let's start over. I'm Angaboda. Angaboda. You must have a lot of questions. Uh, yeah. Where Follow are me. We? You'll get your answers soon enough. <coughs> well, some of them. Ah, that was that little bit in the trailer. Knew me? I am bored. Okay, you'll get your answers soon enough, will you? Uh, right. Is that not your name? No. It is my name. I'm Loki. Thola. Well, that's one of the new skills like, that we get to uh, uh, take my own path. Yeah, that wind so where things am I that was sin. I was in this weird fog. Oh, I've heard the Utengard can be disorienting. Still, you're safe here in the island. So, I thought Ironwood wasn't a real place. Clever, right? Odin won't go searching for the Forest of the Giants if he doesn't think it exists. The Forest of the Giants? That's what some people call it. Or called it. Excuse me. What's that? A brooch. It's big. Compared to? I thought giants weren't all supposed to be giant. Damn. So, what do you do here? Paint, forage, survive, preserve what I can. But why wait for me? Because my destiny is to tell you yours. Go away! Watch out! Whoa. That's some paint. Surviving Fimble Winter. Wait, is that a thing around here? Did you know about it? I did. <sighs> Whoa. Yep. Oh, of course, that's from I'll Last of Us. You, but keep going the way you're going. Is that chainmail? I wonder what Brock and Sindri would think of that. Who? Oh, they're kind of like uncles. I do? <laughs> you Midgard giants are strange. They're dwarves, actually. Still strange. <laughs> Can't believe they're nightmares there, too.
you like breaking stuff? It's just something my father... You know what? Never mind. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just exploring. Don't mind me. Okay. Maybe if you found a better vantage point. Looking good. Hey, wait, what? Looks like you're going the right way. Oh, yeah, totally. I'm great. I met another living giant. Maybe one who holds my destiny. What? Uh, sorry. I'm just really excited to talk to you. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Everything's okay, right? Yeah, I'm just in a magical forest that shouldn't exist. Mm -hmm. I'm talking to another giant, and she's. <sighs> yeah. Cute. That's what you're thinking. That's what you're thinking, a trash, isn't it? Still getting the hang of things here. <laughs> Where are we going? My mother recorded her visions or prophecies. Thought you might like to see them. Where are your parents? They're not around. Are they? Hey, I know you have a lot of questions, but not this one. Okay. I'm sorry. Too. 
Help me with this? Oh, sure. <laughs> Evie's medallion. Race you across? <laughs> what? Go! Uh, okay! I can slow down! I win. Almost to my mom's shrines, where she chronicled her visions. It was her way of ensuring the legacy of our people would live on, despite the Aesir's best efforts. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, you'll see plenty more button clamps today. I hope so. Right, guys, I best go leave it here. Oh, can your magic? Where do you think they learned it from? So, yeah, I best leave it here, guys, because I do have to get up for work in a few hours. So, I do hope you have enjoyed this part of Ragnarok. Awesome game, awesome game. Thoroughly enjoying it. Oh, you have to. So, for now, be sure to. Uh, Feel free to like, comment, share and subscribe, it does help me out a lot, be sure to give us a follow on the socials and if you do want to help support the channel, hit that join and super thanks. But yeah, we shall be uh, back with this tomorrow, hopefully, that's if I don't fall asleep. So uh, yeah, it's bad chat, I hope you enjoyed again, see you soon with a new video.